Alright, let's begin. Let's see. I need to remember where we were. Uh, uh, Tapu Village? Mofuku, our final team member last time. Alright. Let's clear out the roots of the sap first. be able to beat this. Okay. I'm surprised this is not just hit me with rocks on. Surfing. Well, let's start with this side. Uh, 
Alright. This is just literally a... Uh, we're gonna grind up Snow Run a bit. It's only a Pukamuku, it can't be that hard. This thing is in pain, but it's getting rather annoying. This is really annoying. I can't heal because then he'll heal. Oh, hi, Cappy. Welcome to me uh, in a war of attrition with a Pukamuku. Learn iron defense. Nah. Oh yes, Cappy. I hope you're ready for uh, the 115th game we're gonna stream because uh, <laughs> you're gonna be backseat gaming the fuck out of me. I imagine.
Is there anything in the water? Anything at all? Random thrillish. Oh, that's not annoying. Nice it is. Yes, it's going to be a very interesting set of streams for that game, but that's a way off yet. I don't want that testing off, woman. Yum yum, give me that health back. Oh, damn. Are you still alive? No, no, okay. Use one of these, I know how hard they hit. Yep. Ha, <laughs> 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 nice apart three dips.
I saw Padre give a party. I'm out. Shadow Ball. Shadow Shoal. Ah, yes. So, uh, Isaac, I was just uh, hinting to Cappy about game 115. Uh oh. You know, it's funny you mentioned that. Because uh, Cappy is about to play a very similar game. Ah. How similar? Um. Like one number off. Up or down? Uh, down. That. Fuck. Is he gonna stop right at the end? <laughs> no, that's what I did. <laughs> that's what most sane people do. Nah, the ending's fine. <laughs> it's just a grind. You know? <laughs> it's like, I've heard legends of that place, and I'm just like, oh. <laughs> I <laughs> don't think I want to do that. It's not as bad as people make it out to be, but it's difficult. It's only difficult by virtue of there being no safe point. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I've, I've kind of hinted what it's going to be. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I think, because we're on 111 and 112 right now, so there's two games to go. Uh, Pokemon's going to be done before Just Cause 3. Obviously. I'm just like, at this point, there's no fucking doubt in my mind. <laughs> um, so that means... We're going to have 111 and 113 going together. And then 114 is probably going to follow on from 113. Okay. Because <laughs> again, just got, we're not even halfway through. Um, oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, a little more with that different evolution music. And after music, I believe. I forgot how loud it is. Jesus. Oh baby. Alolan Muck.
Also learned Venom Drench. No! I don't even know what Venom. that does. It's awful. Poison Pokemon are drenched in odd poisonous liquid. Though it's attack special attack and speed of a poison target. Why the fuck would I do that? The move is bad because it only works if the target is poisoned. Just use Venoshock. Alright, let's check out Stench's stats. Cool. So really slow, really high HP, really high special defense, and really high attack. His attack is behind Golisopod. Obviously. And behind Decidueye. But that those defensive stats though. Okay, that kinda works out for me. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else to do here. Cheer up, Rotom. Um... I don't know what the next two games are going to be. One of them has a very real risk of being Pokemon Ranger. My guess. Thing is, right, I know for a fact that the only person in the server who's going to watch is you. <laughs> a Ranger? Yeah, probably. No. Uh, game oh, the next five. game. Yeah. I think Cappy would watch it. Oh yeah, Cappy would watch it. And laugh at you every step of the way. I've got to say, does he want to get in the voice call and laugh at me for like 18 hours straight? <laughs> well, because he can. Yeah. You don't want to get lonely talking shit about me, do you? <laughs> you, make, you, you make it sound like I get lonely. That's true. 18 hours speed running. No, well, he's okay. So for people who know the game, that not I'm consecutive, play, not consecutive 18 hours. No, but for like people who know the game, I've heard it's like 15 to 20 hours. Yeah, sounds about right. Um, for me, who's played what about two hours? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, it might be a while. <laughs> I've got serious issues with going, ooh, shiny, and just wandering off. Granted, this game, from what I've heard, pretty much railroads you, so that's not hard. It does. It railroads you pretty hard. I'll still I'll still find a way. <laughs> or, at le or at least the way which or at least the way which you're supposed to go is like nearby. It's it's very hard to get lost in that game. Now, if you were playing uh, one number further up, then yeah, it's pretty easy to get lost, I found out. Hmm. <laughs> uh, use your uh, dark type? <laughs> Question mark. That is true. I have a newly evolved stench. You might want to see a doctor about that. <laughs> I just got that. Yep. <laughs> I knew you false sense. Someone needs to see a doctor. Swimmer. Yeah, so what can Maybe. I reach right now? As a swimmer. You get stopped. You get stopped right about here. Oh, sweet. There's Jesus. some reason. 
<laughs> there certainly is on the previous route, though. Oh, we've already cleared all those now. Yeah, I cleared all that. There's not many trainers on that route. They're not that many, you know. Understandable. Have a good day. No? Alright. Uh, bench. You know, I'm noticing one thing about this team, and uh, it's because it's Alola. Boy, are we all slow. Yep. Alright, there's the blockage. So we got one swimmer to fight, which probably isn't worth it. Okay, so game game 115. I know Nick won't watch it because in his mind it's anime. Uh, Benny won't. <laughs> Even though he probably should because it's his kind of game. Is it? He loves Persona. What do you think? I, I would not equate... I would not equate that to Persona. Oh, neither am I, but it's his kind of game. He just likes his RPGs, I suppose, yeah. Yep. He just likes RPGs. Um... Cappy, obviously. You, obviously. I mean, here's the annoying thing. I just said Square Enix, and everyone's like, so it's an RPG. He's like, yeah. Duh. Basically, yeah. It ain't Tomb Raider, it's not Deus Ex, I'm already doing Just Cause. It's an RPG. An Elekith. <sighs> One day, goddammit. How the fuck am I streaming 20,000 kilobits per second? Uh, magic. Dark, unfathomable sorcery. I, uh... 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 I genuinely just noticed that. My bitrate is legitimately like 15,000 kilobits per second. That might explain why the Twitch stream is completely frozen on my end. Because my internet can't handle uh, a bit right that high. Uh... Right, I'm just gonna look into that real quick. So, one moment. Welcome back, everybody. I what bring potatoes. What the fuck was that about? <laughs> so I forgot to turn off uh, adaptive bitrate on XSplit because it automatically turns it back on whenever I close XSplit. Is that what it does? <laughs> Is it like use all the available bandwidth possible and then it's like just in case? Because, uh, no. I stream between 5 and 6,000 for a reason. Yeah. Alright, we'll give it a minute and just let it catch back up.
I, I am legit terrified, like, streaming fucking E3 this weekend because full boy. <laughs> 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 oh, no, 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 sorry. I'm not scared of streaming E3, okay? So, Nintendo will be fine. Xbox will be fine. Square Enix will be fine. It's Ubisoft. Yeah, okay. Every fucking year, you see it from every YouTuber. It's like, by the way, YouTube sent a copyright strike, not claim, strike, to my channel for streaming their E3. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> and then you get like 9,000 claims because it's nothing but licensed music. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ, Ubisoft. <laughs> Yeah, Xbox doesn't care. Square Enix doesn't care. Nintendo generally doesn't care. The only thing that may get me in trouble with a Nintendo Direct is like a sizzle reel, because sometimes they use music that YouTube systems like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah. But like, outside of that sizzle reel, mm -hmm. which is like, what, a minute and a half? So, eh, yeah. It's, it's fine. Right, okay, so we're back. We have got a trial to do. That I am... Honestly not prepared for. Oh, hello. Ain't he cute? I see you have to call it taking the piss week. So. Oh, he hints that uh, the roads on things are at um, Kukri's place. All right. Yeah. So I think Danielle's going to be with me for Friday, Saturday, and there isn't one on Sunday that I'm going to watch. So Xbox, Ubisoft, and Square. Uh, probably not Tuesday. Hello, okay. username I can't see because it's bright blue. Uh, A Z Gamer one two three four five. Welcome. That that's really, actually really kind of. Okay, yeah, the blue on the dark purple is kind of odd. We may need to adjust the overlay a little bit. Uh, now it's not your fault. We just no, it, it's my fault because it's uh, we just didn't think it, ahead it, about it the. It doesn't uh, mix with the purple very well. Hang on. I'm we could drop like a line. light overlay, like if we could, yeah. Better? Uh, it's red okay, now. Better. Yeah. For later, uh, we can, like, drop a... Maybe, like, a light overlay behind the box or something. Maybe. I can fiddle around with that. I've never been so happy to see a ravioli in my life. Yum. Oh, that's very wrong. That's a drowsy. I bet it's just the same guy over and over again. <laughs> I'm alerting you to the fact you're about to get your ass punched in. I remember the one game when 401 was good. Which one was that? Um, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 2. Oh yeah, it would just randomly. Smoke screen was good. <laughs> it were uh, it would just randomly make moves miss sometimes. Or oh. what was good? So smoke screen. Oh smoke screen, yeah. Also, also uh, too. <laughs> I'm alerting you. You're about to get your ass punched in. Hey look, okay. <laughs> if you don't know me, I say shit like that all the time. It's true. I haven't got a filter. I'm sorry. But it's funny. I think I might come around here more often then. <laughs> it's a nice neighborhood. There's just that one guy threatening to turn you inside out. <laughs> It's fine. Play ball, guys. <laughs> this is why Lily's this is, the, this is this is why Lily's my favorite because she gives me luxury balls. 
That's it. There's no other deep reason to it. I'm interested in this. I hear you're interested in this. Thank you. Wow, my Excellent. phone responded to that immediately this time. Holy shit. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you for the follow. Wow, that was like... The email notification came through on time for a change. And now we wait 20 minutes for the follow account of the top to update. <laughs> I have, it's weird, I have to have stream, la uh, stream labels open for it to do that. I guess that's how it works. But it takes a moment for the software to pull the follow account from the channel and then upload, update the text file. And then take some of our expert to go, wait a minute. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that's a good team. So half of it was planned, half of it wasn't. So the half that was planned was uh Muck. Muck. Uh Decidueye and Cradley. Yeah, and Cradley. Goliath was, was on not whim. Planned. But I was leaning towards it anyway, and LGM and Snowrun were just there. And I was like, you know what? I need special attackers. What's my favorite shiny? Hmm. Hmm. Tricky question, because there are a lot of good ones. There are a lot of good ones. Uh. Huh. What's my favorite shiny? Yeah, that's a question I've never been asked before. Really? I thought you had at one point. No. Sation. <laughs> no, that's Nick's favorite shiny. Sation. No. No, I think I gave up on that. <laughs> I knew Cappy was going to say that. I just let him have it. It's just characteristic. Um, mine would be either Metagross or Slugma. Yeah, emphasis on the Slugma and not the Macargo. I don't know what went wrong yeah. there. Yeah, I need to do I. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. The abandoned Mega Mart. I didn't come back here for stuff it, right? No. Damn it. We've already got two ghost types. <laughs> Slugma then? See, I, I don't... Shiny Slugma's dope. But I would never evolve it. And I already have a shiny yeah. cargo. I've seen what that yeah. horror looks like. It's so strange. Like, why is it bright pink? It's not like a terrible color, but it's such a downgrade. Okay, here's the thing. I like shinies that go like blue or purple. If you couldn't tell by the background of the screen. Um, yeah. So Shuckle's a good one. Lycanroc's good. Tyrantrum's good. Tyrantrum's good, yeah. Uh, Palisand's good. Oh, Palisand is so amazing. Ooh, a haunted shopping cart. Look, right, these things move of their own accord anyway. Oh god, I've got the one with the bad wheel. Black or just blue and purple? See, there, there are some shinies that are black, but they were black anyway. Like, you know, the obvious, the obvious one says, like, Hi, Gengar. What the hell? <laughs> um, Gengar, shiny Gengar is, like, almost gray. Yeah, it, it's pretty hard to see, though. I mean, in HD, when in Sword and Shield and stuff, it's really obvious. Yeah. But back in the day, like, that's shiny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like blue and purple shinies. Your Shuckles, your Houndooms. 
Nec like no, Rocks, Tyrantrums, Gallades, God of War. Sorry, Manetric is black. Yeah, um, Manetric's black. Elec uh, Electric is blue, though, so. It almost yeah, counts. Blue. Shi yeah, I like, I like shinies that have like a very striking color. And not striking Sh in the way of Muck, Machoke, and Espeon. What uh, the hell? Sharpedo. Sharpedo yeah, is uh, cool. Bright pink. It's bright pink, yeah. I tend to be like that, too. Like, if it's noticeably different, then most and of the time I like Okay, it. if it's noticeably different and it's not a... I'm gonna say it. If it doesn't look like puke. <laughs> like, I'm I don't sorry, like Machamp. shiny... Your shinies don't. What the hell? And, L and Lorantis. Okay, shiny Lorantis yeah. is strange. It's, it's, it's grass-colored. It's just better. And it's I, like... I, I, I know a guy who's... Um, his favorite Pokemon is Espeon, and sometimes I'll, and one time I just went out to him and was like, so Ben, uh, what's your favorite shiny and why is it Espeon? And he gave me the biggest stink eye. It was great. Dolls are moving by themselves. This one's weird because Gengar isn't on the screen most of the time. <laughs> the game just has you fight a Gengar. Yep. Can these be shiny? Please tell me no. Uh, if, if it were shiny, you would have gotten the alert by now. No, but can they be shiny? No. Thank God for that. Could you imagine? I like shiny dust skull. It's blood red. Which makes me sad that, like, Dustnar is blue. Because, like, it's just still a nice blue, but the red is just better. Yeah, Duskull and Dusclops have a really nice shot. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think Dustnar shiny is bad. Just Dusclops is better. That's all. I think that's symptomatic of you thinking Dusclops is better in general. <laughs> I'm gonna make a call out post on my twitter.com. <laughs> well, you're right. Duskops is better. I mean, yes. <laughs> Again, it's one of those things where it's like, what do you want it to do? Do you want it to be defensive or offensive? Alright, easy gamer. Peace out. May your day be prosperous and full of, uh... Take care, man. Shiny Slugmas. Ooh. The one good thing about Dogu is that he gets like a truck. <laughs> uh, you know, just like he picks the truck up and just starts beating them to death with it. I was just uh, scrolling back to an old tweet in my backlog talking about like, sh like certain Pokemon being good, and one of the the tweet says, "It's so incredibly hilarious to me that the best Pokemon in the format uses all of Phantom Force, Fly, and Dive." Talking about like you know Dragon Bolt, yeah. and then one of the replies to the tweet is, "But Dusclops doesn't get any of those." <laughs> I'm surprised it doesn't get Phantom Force. I'm surprised it doesn't too. I mean like you, it, it won't use it. It's just so funny. Why doesn't it get Phantom Force? I don't know. If you say no at any point, uh, you just like walk backwards a bit and you have to do it again, so. There's not really much point to saying no here. Alright, what do I lead with? Uh, just keep in mind, it does have a Lumberry. Wait, 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 wait. Um, what is Decidueye's item? Decidium Z. Okay, good. It needs to be that. Um, part of me says Mach. Because then you can, like, Poison Gas turn one and turn two. Save your game. Yeah, this is like, like the a... first trial that will really 
Bend this one's over. like concretely difficult. Yeah. I had such a time doing this one. I'm like, where the hell is it? I'm like spinning around like these are all some really weird photos. And I thought about it. I'm like, hey, it's behind me, isn't it? <laughs> Hello. I feel like it's like implied to be the ghost of a dead Pikachu, specifically this one. All right, Mimikyu. So what makes Mimikyu hard? And I sat down and I spent a lot of time working this out. So it's a ghost fairy type. There is only one Pokemon in existence that can resist both ghost and fairy. And it's not in this game. <laughs> ghost fairy also doesn't have very many weaknesses. I think it has two. Steel ghost. Steel and ghost, yeah. So, see, the, pr the problem is that so the only thing that resists both ghost and fairy is a normal fire type. That's Pyro. Pyro is not here. So, we've got to get a little creative. It also doesn't help that Mimikyu is fucking disgusting. And so Mimikyu got, got nerfed, nerfed in Gen 8, and is still disgusting. Eh, not anymore. Well, it's, it's, it's like Mimikyu, you know, it doesn't have, you know, two focus sashes. But it's really good in singles, but in doubles it's significantly less good. But again, it it's can like, no longer take a, take a free hit and then get a, a guaranteed two turns, you know, because yeah, it can no longer hold a focus there. All right, let's start with Poison Gas. So Mimikyu hits really hard. Yeah. That was 90% miss. Bullshit. Oh, shit. Full restore! Full restore! I said it before, couldn't I have used knockoff on the first turn? I don't know actually. Can you knock off through disguise? I think um I feel like you that. should. I'm gonna check. Bayonets, you know, focus on dying. So I don't, I don't see anything that says it can't. So probably. Hmm. Hmm. I really need to poison this mimic here. <laughs> Alright, Stench, you tried your best. The good news, though. Okay, one more turn. Alright. Time to do the old fashioned way. First impression the, uh. 
Ooh. Hmm. I feel like it's your first impression of Mimikyu. Probably, yeah. Hmm, that defense though. Alright, the downside to first impression is you can only use it on your first turn. That's why it's called the first impression, not a second one. The second one is Sucker Punch. Yeah, the second one is Sucker Punch. Jesus Christ, I Padre. No, I get the first impression. Oh, no, I don't. You don't? Why not? That didn't use emergency exit. What? What just happened? Can you look up the mechanics of emergency exit for me? <laughs> yeah, I know, that's what I'm doing. Because, uh, Galactopod didn't just leg it. Okay, and trials it doesn't work. All right. What the fuck? <laughs> it apparently only works in um trainer battles or one v one wilds. That's so strange. I'm sorry. What kind of absolute fucking horseshit is that? Oh, your ability just doesn't happen now. Okay. That's pretty dumb. Good shit, Bench. I summon Atalanta. I notice how Bench has been the one to finish most of these. He looks so happy. <laughs> I killed a motherfucker. So yeah, no big deal. Dust self off. <laughs> yeah, no big deal. Why is my leg over there? <laughs> oh yeah, if you want a Mimikyu, this is the only place you can get it. And, uh, it's rare. Like 10% or 5% of the it's, it's up there. It's on the low end. But the good news it's is, also it's worth it. You can also get uh, Shuppets uh, or Klefki here, if you so desire. There are actually a lot of things you can only find here. Yeah, but it's like, why would you use Mimikyu when you could use Klefki? Yeah, good point. Bitch, I've got two. Well, I'm going to have two. And you Freedom. see the Mimikyu walking away in the background. You can come back here after you get the... After you beat the Third Island's Kahuna. And you get to, like, make friends with him and get his Z Crystal. Alright. Nice ass. Shut your door. Don't break everything. <laughs> I 
Zyrag joking about all the Nintendo's first party games we've made in Game, game Builder Garage may not be a lie, actually. Yeah, I know. Because <laughs> depending on what engine that thing's built in, that, that it may be actually built inside all the Nintendo's first party games. Like, hearing that Splatoon 2, Mario Odyssey, ARMS, Mario Kart, and Animal Crossing all share an engine was like... What? <laughs> How fucking versatile is this? There's my random uh, trivia of the day in gaming chat there. Wait, really? Yep. What the fuck? So, for the Wii U and 3DS, mostly the Wii U, Nintendo had a um, web development thing they made. Uh -huh. And you could make games for the Wii U in, like, HTML and shit. And they did that as, like, a... They started it as, like, a, just a, you know, proof of concept kind of thing to show if you can do it. And then they made it a full game. That's so weird. Yeah, Mario vs. Donkey Kong Tipping Stars was made in HTML. <laughs> And again, it's one of the later Mario vs. Donkey Kong games, so I'm not entirely surprised. Oh yeah, another boss fight. How do we make this unique? Make it in HTML5. <laughs> okay, second fight with Plumeria. And last fight with Plumeria, actually. Pretty sure this is the... This fight's a lot harder, because her levels just shoot up at this point. This is, this is the first fight in the game where the levels are just noticeably higher. Yeah, it's like the Pokemon we just fought was level 35. On its own. And yeah, then she's got a level 37 and a level 38? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. It's also very dangerous. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Because Isopadre doesn't have Razor Shell yet. Does it ever get it? it should do. I should, but I don't remember how. <sighs> Dolomite's weak to poison. Yep. Is it Herbie's level? weak to dark. Yeah. Level 32. No, sorry, 26. You have to hard scale it. Uh, what about liquidation? You bet. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna suck a bunch of stuff. 48. Wasn't liquidation a TF? No. Oh, I think it's Sword and Shield. You think you have Sword and Shield? Wait. Am I? <laughs> I thought I thought you were faster. No, I used suck much. Uh like both turns? Yeah. Oh. There is no mind. fucking way in hell I'm as beating a Salazzle. I just looked away while I was looking something up and I saw the Salazzle in second, so I assumed you were faster. No, oh, Cappy just said, by the way, I forgot to update my prediction. <laughs> oh, he predicted? He predicted. Okay. Predict Final Fantasy 4. Bold prediction. I mean, you're right. <laughs> I 
I'm keeping it a secret from uh, most of the Discord server because they don't give a shit. There's the question, which version? Ooh. PSP, my boy. <laughs> We're playing what is unequivocally the best way to play that game. Like, I, d I don't... I don't give two shits. Like, DS could be great. <laughs> you know? A different experience. Yeah. You know, the Steam release has the problem of I've seen that thing's UI. Ooh. The, um... <laughs> The DS one you play if you play the original. Yeah. And the SNES one, great, but it's like... Why? You lose all like the unique traits of the characters and stuff. Kind of dull. Yeah, and the advance, advance is uh, good, but, you know, GBA sound quality. So I want all I the know. quality of advance. I want the beautiful weird. graphics, because for PSP... It's weird because, like, the other two Final Fantasy Advance games, 5 and 6, they have good soundtracks, but 4's is just weird. Yeah, 4's is just like, what happened here? Oh, right, GBA. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even that. 5 GBA sounds fine. I actually prefer 5 on the GBA to 5 on the SNES sound Actually, no. There is a worse version of 4 I could play. I could crack out the PS1 copy. I thought you were going to say Wonder Swan. It was on the Wonders one. I think. Hold on, let me let me check something. I think the advanced version was like a re-release of the Wonders one version or something. If there was one, I need to go check something. Like Who seconds. the fuck remembers the Wonders one? People I could play After Years. Can't get worse than that. I'm not playing After Years. I'm playing Final Fantasy IV. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me check. Actually. Oh yeah, it was on the Wonders one. By the way, to answer your question, who remembers the Wander Swan? Uh, people who played Mega Man Battle Network. Why? Because, because uh, you know Network Transmission and Battleship Challenge? Uh-huh. Both of those are originally on the Wander Swan. What? What? This is, this is not a joke. Both those games were originally on the Wander Swan. And they both got remade onto the GameCube and Game Boy Advance, respectively. And the remakes are just better in every way. Yeah, I imagine something worse than Network Transmission. That's the Wonder Swan version. I've seen it. I just learned something today I didn't want to know. We know it because we know it for historical significance, and that's it. Yeah, it's like the Mega Man and Base sequel. Oh yeah, on Wonder Swan. <laughs> yeah, I tried playing that on an emulator, and then you get to the level where it's like, okay, turn the Wonder Swan sideways, and I'm like, what? <laughs> I just look at the Wonder Swan like, Bandai Namco, what the fuck were you thinking? Fuck it, port everything to the Wonder Swan. <laughs> Please don't. Don't actually do that. There was a time when that happened. And then all those games got reported to something better. Except Mega Man and Base 2. Because <laughs> that game has all kinds of implications that no one wants to talk about. Why like Mega Man effectively killing himself. Doesn't he kill himself in, uh... Well, he kills himself in Battle Network 3. So, the thing with Mega Man and Base 2 is that it's both a sequel to Mega Man and Base, kinda, but also Mega Man 2 on the Game Boy. What? Don't answer that. So, a guy comes from the future calling himself Rockman Shadow, and at the end of the game, he reveals himself to be Quint from Mega Man 2 on the Game Boy. The thing being, Quint from Mega Man 2 on the Game Boy was Mega Man from the future, but corrupted by Dr. Wily. Yeah, I... I wait, I thought Quint was from Mega Man 5. 
No, two. And then he reappears in five. Okay. Oh, he reappears in five. Okay, that'd be why. It's a copy in five. That Mega Man quite okay. promptly blows up. But, you know. Okay. But yeah, at the end of Mega Man 2, Quint just kind of leaves. And, uh... You know. That's that. But then... He comes back from the future as Rockman Shadow, and Mega Man just straight up kills him. It's like, so hang on a minute. So your future self is eventually going to get brainwashed by Dr. Wily, get his ass kicked by a younger version of you, and then he's going to go back to the future, then come back again, and get killed by a slightly older, younger version of himself. Welcome to Mega Man. <laughs> It's fucked up. Yeah. I try not to, uh... I try not to think about it too much. You know there's one interesting thing about Final Fantasy IV I learned fairly recently? Uh, the bit where you can, like, change your party members around, that's only in Vance and PSP. None of the other versions do that. Yep. I didn't know that. And I was like, wow. No wonder all the endgame parties are the same, because you don't have a choice. Yeah, you don't have a choice. I was I was wondering why anybody would willingly keep Edge. Yeah, I've got to say, who wants to keep Edge and Edward? <laughs> Actually, no, you know, Edge actually... has a purpose. Mm, not in the advanced version, he doesn't. Well, no, but he does have a purpose. Oh, you don't need that weapon anymore. Okay. Yeah. And then it hits for like 800, and so that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> and 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 then Edward in uh, Final Fantasy IV Advance just kind of breaks the game in half. Isn't the joke that Edward's not good until you get his ultimate weapon? Um... Something like that. The mid-game weapon that he gets is enough to tide you over. So, like, he goes from doing nothing to kind of at least doing something. And then when you get his ultimate weapon, he does everything. And then you've got Yang, where the entire joke is, don't give him weapons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think his ultimate accessory is, like, his ultimate thing is an accessory that just triples his the power of his kick or something. Isn't it like, like a really disgusting like upgrade and say, like, yeah, okay, why would I need weapons? Yeah. It's kind of, Yang Yang is a uh, it's kinda of gross. I never used him, but like I did it once like, wow. Dang. <laughs> I don't know who I want to use, to be honest. I mean, I've obviously gotta have Cecil, because I want to say that's required, but I'm not sure. I feel like it is, given he's a fucking bad luck magnet. <laughs> Don't deny it. He is. I'm not. That's why, I'm not. I'm not. That's why I giggled. <laughs> that poor bastard. <laughs> 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 like, Jesus Christ, his day starts shit, and it just does not get better. Um... You also want someone can use... Well, to be fair, Cecil can use healing magic, so... That's all... That uh, The only purpose to Cecil having magic is so you just use Cura and raise out of battle so Rosa doesn't have to. Um... Tella is temporary, to put it lightly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> to use a certain phrase. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, Palam and Porum. Eh. I don't know yet. Um, they do require a bit of work, but then again, the best spells. Yes. Yes, they right, do. Okay. I mean, Ridia would be useful because summons. Yeah. R like, in a vacuum, 
Palom is worse than Rydia, but if Polrom is also in the party, Palom is like way, way better. Let's see what else? Um... I, I admit that I would I have used um, Horum and Rosa in some fights just to double up on white magic, and it was uh, it was genius. Translation necessary. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see you know where I went. <laughs> you fought Brachiaridas, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I also I, I know a lot about Final Fantasy IV, having never played it. I also used Edward. Mm-hmm. Because Edward in that fight is just so good. I've already been spoiled on Edward being like useful for one thing and one thing on this one the game super bosses. Oh yeah. Edward just kinda like wins wins that fight stupid hard. Uh, He's he is, Edward is hands down the best person to use against Brachia Rhydos. It's it's not even a question. Okay. I lied. If Kane's tornado goes off, it's good. I'm gonna say, I kind of want to use Kane? Kane because the benefit yeah. to Kane is that he's a dragoon, and dragoons aren't hittable half of the time because they do yeah. one thing. Yeah, yeah. Kane is all. Kane is good for the entire game. You know what's really good about Kane? Okay. Kane, being a dragoon, you can't hit him for half of a match because he's always in the fucking air, and then you get his ultimate yep. weapon. Where you can't hit him for two thirds of a match. <laughs> he has the uh, he has the highest DPS of any character in the game. So, ah, Kane's on the field. What's he gonna do? Jump, and eventually double jump. He makes uh, he makes Cecil look like a wee baby. <laughs> I mean, he always does that, but you know. Yeah, I don't know what my party composition is gonna be. It is very much going to be like, I'm going to feel it out and see what, I work, what works for me. You, For most of the game, your party will be fixed, but when you get to the end game, you are a lot of change getting around. Just don't use Edge. If you use Edge, you're bad. Also, I have mad respect to that one guy in the universe that means Finn. Kane is the best character Final Fantasy 4 and he also has to be quite good in combat. Yeah, that, that sounds fair. I have heard lots of people like Kane. <laughs> so bad. Uh, and then they, and then, uh, in, in the city, uh, uh Duo Destiny is kind of a badass. He basically single-handedly holds off excess so everybody can escape and wins and then leaves. <laughs> okay, bye. What? <laughs> Quailing! He also has, um, he also speaks my favorite line in, my favorite line that entire game. As he's, as he's holding off Xdeath to make sure everybody can escape, Xdeath kind of mocks him and says, like, you would, you would give your life for their safety? And the king's like, no, of course not. I offer yours. <laughs> so who said anything about me dying? Kane is just so good. He's also, in combat, he's also really fun. Cause like he's got his basic combo and then like after pretty much any combo he does, you can hold down triangle and he steps right to where the enemy is. It's basically, he, it's basically uh, how he moves around. So like, whoops, he's all the way over there? Not anymore. Either. I keep forgetting LGM like, has a tail as well. Yeah. Actually, so Kane saying that reminds me of my favourite quote ever from the first Doctor, right? All those inspirational quotes from the 60s, and my favourite one is, someone tells him, you have threatened a man? And he goes, oh no, 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 I don't fret. I make promises. That's an old one. Yeah, it's from 1964, I think. <laughs> <laughs> This 
Quailake's kind of fucking me up. The funny thing about Sid in Final Fantasy IV is that he's not bad, but everybody else is just way better. I forgot Sid's in Final Fantasy IV. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh yeah, there's a Sid. I already know I'm not using him. His ultimate weapon casts Flare. And that's about it. Dooku wants to learn Psych Up. No. Nah. Fuck you, Janice. Yeah, shout out to that one guy who main sit in Final Fantasy IV. What one the fuck? guy. Must have been the one guy who mains in Incineroar in Smash Ultimate. Why? Benny. So Benny mains Sonic, who okay, that's, I'm convinced okay, in the go. next Smash game is gonna go back to being as good as he was in Smash 4. Because Sonic seems to have a yo-yo. Really shit in Brawl with no kill potential. Really fucking good so they had to nerf him in 4. And then kind of okay in Ultimate and then they nerfed him. <laughs> with no kill potential. With no kill potential. And I was like, please stop. <laughs> he might as well just mean Yoshi at that point. <laughs> yeah, but Yoshi has no recovery. <laughs> I I said Yoshi makes little match look acrobatic. <laughs> What's his up B? Say... Frozen egg. <laughs> y you say that, but little Mac is actually kind of acrobatic. He has to be. Mm -hmm. He's a boxer. <laughs> So how do you beat a little Mac? Just play Simon. Literally. Yeah. yeah. So given this thing's got really low physical defense, I'm about to die. We tried, Dogu. We tried. Uh, bench. Go forth and do what thou must. Yep. Ah, it's like you never done use the situation before. No, sir. Why the fuck not? I just don't use grass as much. Decidueye can learn acrobatics, that may be more useful than pluck. But I'm holding the Z-Crystal. So no it isn't. It's nice to think that though. What fucking ghost move is... Dolomite got? Um... Astonish? Oh, Confuse Ray. C confuse Ray. What okay. the fuck is Z-Confuse Ray? Can look. I doubt it's very novel. I mean, there's probably a reason we've never heard of it because the only Z status moves you to hear of are Z Splash, Z Destiny Bond, and anything involving Eevee. Z Conversion. And Z Conversion. Uh, Confuse Ray's special attack up. Alright, that's not bad. Oh, um, and Z Muru. <laughs> Oh, and to to never forget this immortal moment from 2017. Prankster, Z Nature Power, into Twinkle Tackle on Misty Terrain. That read. <laughs> and then somebody tried the exact same thing and it didn't work. I, I was watching that read live. Holy fuck. I, and I know the guy ended up losing. Were you but, the, were you watching the time where it did work or when it didn't? When work? it did work. Okay. Yeah, because I, I saw. I know one, he, I know I he came second. Did work. But dude, give him and the medal. Then, uh, 
<laughs> and then I saw the time where it didn't work because somebody tried the exact same thing. I think it was on an Alolan Muck or something. Because he tried to Z Nature Power into Moonblast and Twinkle Tackle on a Dark type. Yeah. It didn't work. <laughs> and everyone's just standing like, oh, right, Frankster. <laughs> yeah, this guy, he, he big brained so much that his brain is the wrinkliest brain imaginable. So he's like, I see a Whimsicott there. Misty Terrain's been set up. He's going to use Z Nature Power, which will activate off Prankster because Nature Power is a status move. And then because it's yeah. Misty Terrain, Nature Power will make that Twinkle Tackle because it's Z yeah. Nature Power. It becomes a Z move yeah. of whatever the Nature Power would be. So mm -hmm. in his mind, he's like, but that's still a Prankster status move at the end of the day. I'm going to swap to my Mandibuzz. And it's like, you just burned your Z move. Oh, it was Amanda Buzz. Thank you. I remember. Yeah, now. it was Amanda Buzz. Yeah, was he, he went on to play, play second after losing that fight, but man, he had the largest brain. That was like five D chess. The number of things. That... So he he recognized a whimsicott and misty terrain would most likely have nature power to get Moonblast. So it would effectively have pranks to Moonblast. Which, yeah. when you think about it, is kind of gross. Yep. But he also realized that that'd that be a pretty potent twinkle tackle coming off a prankster. But you can't hit a dark type with it, so... shout out to that guy for, I think in that one moment, blowing everyone's mind in the final. That was, it was a good time. It was a good fun time. I swear, like, Gen 6 and 7 finals have always had some crazy shit going on. Like, either a really unexpected Pokemon you'd never expect to see, or just some, some like, turn that just blows your mind. I remember the Gen 7 ones more because I was following them more. I can't remember what what um what level of play it was, but I remember one of the finals was won by a kid with a shiny Machamp and no one knew what it did. I think that was Nationals? It was, it was in Junior. No, it was Worlds. Either Nationals or Worlds. It was the guy in the Juniors division. Yeah, it was Junior. I think it was Juniors Worlds, and he ended up winning. Because he had this shiny Machamp, and, like, no one had any goddamn idea what it was going to do. <laughs> because Machamp can do anything. Yeah, he can do a lot of things. Like, the only thing that's a given is Dynamic Punch, and then after that, who knows? could have Stone Edge. It could have fucking Fire Blast, because it gets that. <laughs> you wouldn't give it Fire Blast, but you know. No, but you could do it. It'd be like Dynamic Punch or Cross Chop, one of the two. Stone Edge, Ice Punch is usually common, just because it hits a lot of things. And then, I don't know. Last move can be whatever the hell you want. And then yeah. even then, you could just change things around. I want to see what it was. Never forget the Pachirisu, though. That was a year. It wasn't even like a close victory. That He just like 2-0'd the guy easily. It was great. Let's see. Okay, the shiny Machamp was Gen 6. Um, it was a world, and I don't know what division it was. Seniors. Sorry, he was in seniors. I, there was seniors. a Machamp. 
There was a Machamp event later in Gen 7, but that was the guy who was in Juniors, pretty sure. Yeah, I remember watching that one live as well. Okay, uh, Dynamic Punch is doing it. Wide Guard and Knock Off. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah, I remember the... No yeah, it was, it was weird because it was oh. the standard Machamp and then it had Knock Off and Wide Guard. Oh, oh, the... Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. Oh, yeah, that exists. Uh, do you remember the whole, oh wow, it's immune to priority, that must make it really good. Nope. <laughs> As it turns out, being immune to priority doesn't matter that much. Oh yeah. What was that about being immune to priority? Shut up. <laughs> you got leash light, don't worry about it. Yeah, I know. But I literally just said, oh yeah, that thing exists. Remember when everyone thought being immune to priority was a big thing? Second later, uses Im the priority move against it. <laughs> Immediately tries Kalisopod. Oops. I forgot what I said. <laughs> oh, wait. I Did I get an email about... I did, didn't I? Yes. <sighs> No, I'm never living that one down. <laughs> immune to priority and bad against everything else. Yeah, just being immune to priority doesn't mean you can fight back. Unless it's Serena. Or Tapu Lele. This guy being important, I can't remember why. You need to show him a Pokemon with the move tickle. How do you know? How do you know it's staring? I saw that slowpoke blink. So did the Starmie. This one's difficult by virtue of not a lot of things knowing Tickle. Maybe like a Barboach or some shit. Barboach can learn, I, I think. But it's like level one. <gasps> there he is. Sweet, amazing igloo shrew. I, uh... Okay, I need I need to clarify something in my head because I can never remember seeing the animation. Was Iron Head in Gen 4? Yes. Turn okay, move. Go. Post game. Because the earliest animation in my head of Iron Head is from Gen 5. <laughs> yeah, Iron Head is from Gen 4. A lot of things, a lot of steel types got to be a level, and it could also be gotten to be a tutor in the post game. Ah, uh, yes, a wiggly tooth. It's One intern. singular wiggly. One singular wiggly tooth. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Ooh, badly poisoned. Ow. 
Abby poison. There's poison fang. It inflicts toxic. Stench wants to hello. Oh, it's 80? Okay, I thought it was 70. That's kind of worth it. That's kind of worth it, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of good. I'll drop rock too. I've got poison fang if I need to tap it. Otherwise, do half. Hello. Speaking of shit, that's good. Um, I think I'll drop confused and then I get, for that. And then, it, and then you delete it for stockpile. Haunter. Uh. Mofuku can deal with this. Pokemon poison is people poison? <laughs> I said Mofuku can deal with this. And then the hunter was like, oh, that's cool. Let me show you mine. Sir? <laughs> this is a Wendy's. <laughs> no, if we're going to be proper, sir, this is a Tim Hortons. <laughs> Just take your donuts and go. <laughs> If you die in Canada, you respawn for the last Tim Hortons you visited. <laughs> you white out and wake up at Tim Hortons. Hi, Mikey Fuller 711, I believe that's your name. Cuts off at that the bottom. That is his name. Reason. That is his name, yes. Why did it cut off at the bottom? Uh, I think it's because of how you have the chat overlay set up. It does, it's been cutting off, like, on the bottom a lot for whatever reason. I don't get why. You know what, let's, let's have a little fiddle, shall we? As it were. Um, I've got the position locked. I do, at the moment. Okay, that's not fixing it. Uh... All right, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't like adult in Rotom, please be quiet. <laughs> Maybe something to do with the size of the, uh, of the text. Nope, it just cuts off with the bomb for some reason. Alright. That doesn't make any sense, but we'll go with it. Um. Well, you know what I think we should do at this point in time? Money. Money? <gasps> oh. Isaac lovingly donated a, uh, as well as giving ice beam to it. He gave me a Dawnstone because I am not waiting until I've dealt with this game's a final boss. A French Dawnstone. A French Dawnstone. Rock the Orn. I don't know. It's the. <laughs> it's Pierre. Um. Pierre something. Pierre means rock. Um, so Pierre Auger. Nah, you got Shadow Ball. Uh, 
All right, let's check out Mofuku's new stats. That's about what I expected. Yep. So currently, he's our second best special attack. It also has higher evasion when it's um, hailing, which is always. You know, I told you. Yeah. About its best stat being speed. Yeah. It's the fastest thing on your team by one point with a minus speed nature. Think about that. I try not to. It's actually kind of dope. <laughs> I would like to sell. I have this big pearl. You may have. Uh, and as? That's kind of it. Hmm. It's not exactly hard to come by money in this game. Ooh, an item. Good day, Mr. Scientist. Uh, you don't have a Porygon, do you? I don't remember what he has. Got a bus. Of the Universal Serial variety? Uh, sure. I'm surprised there isn't a Pokemon based on a USB yet. Flying Charger Bug. Yeah, that didn't do nearly enough damage. Alright. Freeze him up. Keep doing that, because it's working. Oh, he's got a muck. Um, I don't have a ground type move. Charger Bug's cry is so good. You know, out of context. <laughs> what you just said's kinda fucked. Hey, Bench leveled up again. Good job, Bench. Into the secret hideout! Alright, Agent Zero. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, yeah, I'm absolutely not prepared for this. This was, as the kids say in, in uh, the youthful ways. Uh, this is bad juju. When was the last time anybody said that? Um, nineteen seventies only. It's like what decade was this?
so good is the text alert. Hey. Uh, it's actually not mine. <laughs> Should be, though. Used to be the uh, stream alert sound effect until I discovered the sweet, sweet, sultry sounds of Robert Belgrade. Understandable. And I was like, what's a good sound effect for someone following you? Ah, yes. I'm interested in this. Um. Oh, yeah. I'm interested in this. That's, uh, that's, that's a thing. Um, in what game? Not this one. Do you like Zygarde? Yeah. Do you wish you had Pokemon Z? Yeah. This is it, bitch. <laughs> trying to do that old, like an old Omni High Salt. Like, Zygarde, you're gonna be in a game. Oh, I can't. I finally. I can't wait to see me in Pokemon Z. Uh, who wants to tell him? An Oranberry? Asperberry. Never trust Oran. Ah oh, yes, Ula Ula Meadow. I forgot this place is a thing. I don't. It's where he had Griddle. Hello, father. Piss off, you weirdo. Narrative Hello. is here somewhere. Yeah, Meredith will be in here, because obviously it's a meadow, where the flowers are, so, um... Have to do with that? Uh oh, oh that's not good. Alright, Dogu, I believe in you. Let's get a crit. Or the AI uses rapid spin instead, right? that's also an option. Oh, Fuku wants to learn Wake Up Slap. power. You know what? It's better than Ice Fang. Oh, it's 70 now? Whimsicott. When did that get buffed? Probably Gen 6. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you're right. Ha! <laughs> What's that? A move got randomly buffed. It's either Gen 6 or 8. It's not even in Gen 8. Wow. Alright, this gong shot hits, I'm gonna nuke the absolute shit out of this Whimsicott. Yep, it's dead. Yeah, absolutely dead. Now, if this was a VGC the... match, that would have a focus sash. What's in this box? Um, I don't know how to say this, ma'am. <laughs> Let's just say, uh... You're not getting any cotton anytime soon. We're getting closer. Yeah, we're getting closer.
the fuck? I just had to read a text message. What the hell? All right. Sneasel! Oh, Dogu, you are absolutely not staying in on this. He knows pursuit, doesn't it? Maybe? I have Probably. no idea. It's a Sneasel. If it doesn't have pursuit... I usually don't see Sneasel in pursuit. Yeah, they've got Night Slash. What's in this box? I don't know how to tell you this. You have to breed for Stu onto it. Kamala. Oh, um, wake up stuff will always do double damage to it. Because it's always huge. <laughs> Allow me to sleep. summon my kimono yokai to slap the shit out of this koala. Yeah, because the ability comatose just treats it as if the Pokemon is always asleep. So that means Dream Eater will always work, Wake Up Slap will always work. He's dead now. He ain't waking up. Yeah, and, like, Hex will always work. Well, if you could hit it with Hex. It's the, like, foresight at first to hit it with Hex, but, you know. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. There is a scenario where you can, you know, hit it with Hex. I was considering Flawless when I saw this here, but then my brain was like, eh. Why? Yeah, I was like, why? I've got enough special bulk. I mean, party wants to use Forges one day, but, like, Forges is dead to me. I'd only use Floor just if it was an orange one, a blue one, or a white one. I would absolutely use the blue one. Like, no question. And I'd use the white one just because, holy shit, a white one. I forget what the hard one to find is. I think it... White. Is it a white one? Yeah. Okay. White is the 1% chance one. Uh I'll use bench. Bench knows what he's doing. That only benefits me. Thank you for making my bench stronger. My bench will now bend you. My nice, Sapadre grew to level 40. Not damn. I know, I need to kick the shit into Meredith. One second. Uh, no one's dead yet, to my surprise. Um, Buy more Moo Moo Milk! Oh wait, you get like one a day in this game. Yeah. Hi Meredith. Hey. Heck. I would now yell very loudly. Ah, uh, here.
Benny just said the 3DS version of Sonic Lost World is better than the other version. One moment. Sorry, what? What? Who what? Benny just said the 3DS version of Sonic Lost World is better than the console version. I, I just gave him a quite hearty. You're wrong. It's like, it's fine, but fucking hell. We need to make him play the special stages. Uh, the, the special stages aren't bad until you get to the fifth one. I think the 3DS version is better. Oh, oh, Benny. Benny, you sweet summer child. Okay, you got him. Hang on, wait, wait, what's the other one? What's the other one? What's the Sky Road level that sucks? Back two? The one with the rockets, or is that Act 3? I don't. Wait, sorry, what? The one where you have to ride rockets and dodge uh, Zavok's dragon. Is that Act 2 or Act 3? Um... Three, I think. That one's not that... That one's... That's not that bad. Act 2 is bad because you basically have to Astor the entire time and it's awful. <laughs> Tropical 2. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Everyone was telling me, you know, I'm gonna like Tropical Curve Act 2, and I got there and I was like, when does it end? <laughs> you know, this thing would stop using Roost. I've killed it by now. Because I'm only hitting it for fire type damage, not fire and flying. Which is clever, but it's really getting on my tits. That's the only way I can describe Lost World 3DS. It was made by Dips. Right, okay, this, this motherfucker needs to stop roosting. Yeah, I didn't like Silent Forest in general in that version.
Quake is unwieldy. I still don't know how to control Quake. <laughs> Uh, it uses the it uses the switch uh switch the 3ds gyroscope with my switch portal as well. No, actually, no. Let me rephrase that. With my switch portal unleashed. Okay, I'll see myself out. <laughs> Where's my good port of Unleashed? It's in Generations. <laughs> uh, 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 there's exactly one thing here. It's like TM Slice Shock, I think? Now I have a move that will hit on the physical side. Bye, Zen Headbutt. <laughs> hey! Uses Dogu's special attack. Uses the enemy's defense. What do you mean? The heck is that red one? That's burst, motherfucker. Oh, no, he's talking about Eagle. Isn't Burst also in that game? In the 3DS yeah, version? It's, on the, it's in the 3DS version. <laughs> yep. He's like, what the fuck is that railroad? What railroad? Oh, yeah, Crimson. Right, okay. <laughs> Laser, rocket, hover drill, asteroid, eagle, rhythm. Lightning. That was in 3DS. Quake is in 3DS. I think the exclusive one for the Wii U. Oh, and Black Box. The ones Laser, in rocket, the hover, Wii U version. Drill, asteroid, eagle. Hover. Hover in one level. Hover in one level, yep. Hover in rhythm. Batman actually. That's the only place it turns up. Yeah, Hover and Rhythm are exclusive to Wii U, or, or I guess console. And so is Bomb. Um, so is Rhythm. Bomb is, Bomb is Wii U. Eagle's Wii U. Eagle is Wii U. Is Lightning in both of them? I think I think it is. No, it's not. Okay. So Lightning, Lightning Quake, and Quake and are exclusive to um, the 3DS. DS. One. Okay. Burst is exclusive to DS. Burst didn't turn up in a console game until Sonic Forces. That's how bad that is. I will fight this man. Yeah. Didn't show up very often, but it was there. 
God, I have not played Lost World 3DS since 2016. Alakazam. Uh, the well, one has, I know how to deal with this. Uh, it's got trick, just uh, just so you know. I know how to deal with this. Yes, it do. Oh, you've got an Alakazam. Show me something would happen to that. I know bombs in Team Sonic Racing is lightning. Um. Yes. What the hell does lightning do? Functions like, functions like it does in Mario Kart. It's very rare. It's it's even more rare to show up than Quake is. I mean, bombs everywhere. <laughs> yeah, bomb is really calm. Yeah, Lightning is the rarest Wisp in um, Team Sonic Racing. You will rarely see it. I, I've seen Quake, like, You see Quake, like, twice I've a race. I've seen Laser, like, once. <laughs> Spikes, maybe. Spikes is um exclusive to... Power characters. Power characters, so you'll only see it a couple times. Laser is exclusive to tech characters. A lot I of things are exclusive to I think tech. so is Rhythm. Rhythm. Yeah, tech tech characters get three wisps. One of them is rhythm. Um, rhythm, laser. I know speed gets burst, and that's it. I think power gets spikes and void. I'll look and at everyone that. gets rocket, bomb, quake, lightning. I can't believe I'm looking this up, SMH. That's a lot of me have. They don't care who you are or anything. Oh, we had 69 stickers, now we have 70. Oh yeah, that's when it happens, like right around here. Nice. Not nice. Let's go see a Lolan Oak, and then I think we'll call it a day. It's a Lazzle for 50. Kind of ignored that. Burst is... Oh, it's power that gets a lot of things. Uh, burst is exclusive to speed. Um, rhythm is exclusive to attack. And the ones on power are... Spikes. Um, laser and Void. And everybody gets... All, all the ones they didn't which is Void. Uh, cube. Eagle, rocket, boost, boost in general, lightning, uh, rocket, bomb, the color, ghost. ghost, 
uh, rocket. Eagle, if I didn't say it already, I guess. And drill. And the ones you, you can receive three of if you pass it is bomb, cube, rocket, boost, and eagle. Wait, power gets laser? Yeah. All right. I mean, laser shit. But... Oh, oh, I, oh, yeah. I remember why. Just like fires a laser in front of you, you can, like you kind of sweep it from back from side to side, and it is terrible. <laughs> it is really bad. <laughs> It's, it's like the worst one in the game. Right. It's like, why? Because I'm steering right now. So that was another good run through. So uh, Dogu and Dolomite are close to evolving. Then we've got a full team. Dolomite needs three levels. Dogu needs two. Uh, sorry, what? Dolomite evolves at level 40... Uh, Dogu evolves at level 42. Okay, so, so four, four and, three. and three. And the rest of our team is already fully evolved. <sighs> this is going to be good. I'm going to enjoy this, having a fully evolved team going through Potown. So then, tomorrow will be more just because. No, Rotom, I don't want advice. Get the fuck up, you piece of shit. Right. We shall be back, same time tomorrow, same channel. Ha ha. Ha. Laugh, damn it.